This is a tale of two factories. Both of them make tyres, both belong to the same parent company. But one is facing up to the future, while the other remains rooted in the past. Let's start with Dunlop. Faced with a downturn in demand in Europe, the company invested in new machinery to make higher value tyres. In exchange, the workers agreed to a new shift pattern. They kept their 35-hour week, but now they have to work some nights and weekends. When you're in a union, you want to fight until the end. But you also have to remember that when you make a decision, the workers, their families, their children, thousands of jobs depend on you. And that's the basis on which we agreed to a deal that may not have been the best, but it saved the factory. But the workers at the Goodyear plant refused to change their working conditions, and they took their protest to the company's headquarters in Paris. For them, France's whole labor and social welfare system is at stake, threatened, they say, by the greed of the bosses. They're making money, they're making billions. It's not like we need to make an effort to save the factory. They are earning huge sums of money and they want even more off the backs of the workers. The Goodyear factory is now set to close, with the company and the unions blaming each other. In the absence of a rescue plan, 1,200 people will lose their jobs. The same struggle is playing out in industrial regions right across France, and it involves the government, companies and the trade unions. The harsh truth is that the comfortable deal French workers have enjoyed for decades simply doesn't sit with current economic reality. The tale of the factories highlights the problems facing the French president, François Hollande. In his election campaign last year, he promised to create jobs, restore growth and reduce national debt. A year later, unemployment is at a record high and the threat of recession looms. Tackling France's economic problems would require painful measures, the kind of policies that can cost leaders elections. Difficult times for President Hollande. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Amiens in northern France.